Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Week Fun. Hope you're having a great day. So today I'm gonna to take a look at one of the brand new John Renault styles, and this is Quinn, and I have Quinn in the color Palm Springs Blonde. So stay tuned. First, I wanna thank Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying this wig for me so I could bring this review for you today. So I hope you're as excited as I am to take a look at this cute little style Quinn. So Quinn is really a playful style with textured layers all throughout. And I think it's the layers that I like the most about this style. So Quinn is part of John Renault's Smart Lace collection. So you have a full lace front, you have a left side monofilament part, and that goes back pretty far about to about this point here on the wig. It is an average size cap. It's fitting my 22 inch circumference head beautifully. Um, the bangs on the front are 7.75. So these are classified as the bangs, um, which makes sense. Cause I think, as I've said before, I think my face is from hairline to chin is seven inches. So this is reading 7.75, which looks to be pretty accurate to me. Um, the crown, which is right here, is nine inches the sides are 5.75 and the nape is 4.25 and this wig comes in at three ounces so it's a really nice light wig so why don't i give a turn so that you can see quinn on all sides because for me the back and the way the layers fall is my favorite part about this wig okay so here's my front and my right side and you can see those really pretty waves and the back my left side and if you can see why don't I see turn here so that you can see this part right back here do you see how the layers graduate I wanted to wear a shirt um, that you could see the back of this really well because this is as I said the favorite part of this wig for me my left side and then back to the front I have Quinn in one of my favorite John Renault colors, which is Palm Springs Blonde, and this is a syn synthetic fiber wig. Why don't I get up close so that I can show you the hairline and the color. So this is a rooted color, as you may know. Uh, I think the rooting is done quite well. But I wonder if you can see what I'm seeing. Do you see the little bit of indent? The lace comes right to about here. And depending on where I'm turning, you can see, to me, I can see a little bit of the line of, um, of the lace. So I wouldn't worry about that. But what I would do if I was to keep this style, I would take my pinking she shears, jeez, my pinking shears and trim that lace. And what that does, the pinking shears has sort of that zigzag pattern and that helps to um, disguise that straight line of the lace, which I think helps it to lay a little bit more naturally and for me to feel more comfortable. I have great um, coverage. So here are the ear tabs. I have great coverage on this wig, but I wanted to show you on this side. So they have put some of the fibers on the inside of the ear tabs. And the reason why they do that is to allow for some of that hair to come down close to the face. But what I am finding a little bit, and you may be able to see it, do you see how some of the fibers are coming out from uh, underneath? So I am having to spend a little bit of time just blending those fibers that are on the inside of the ear tab with the outside. Nothing that can't be adjusted or played around with, but just something that I wanted to point out for you. To me, this wig has a really nice density and it's very natural. So uh, if you like to tuck um, the hair behind your ears, you're absolutely going to be able to do it. Probably easier on this side than it would be. Let's just see if we can get it on this side. Yeah, you could do it, but certainly easier to tuck it in on this side and I think it looks better actually with just the one side tucked. So why don't I go ahead and take Quinn off so I can show you the inside of the cap. Okay, so here we go. All right, so there is a good amount of stretch as you can see on the cap. It is very comfortable for my head. Here is the lace front that runs from the top of the ear tab to the top of the ear tab. And this is your left hand monofilament part. So this is the spacing or the area that you have to part your wig, okay? So you have wefted sides 
and back. You do have an extended nape, which I really like with the Velcro adjusters so that you can adjust this wig to fit the circumference of your head. As you may have seen, there are many styles out on the in the market today that are roughly this uh, this length, and it's a great option if you're looking for a shorter style. What I like about it is the hair does not flop on my face, in my face rather. The cap is very comfortable. It is light coming in at three ounces, so I do like that. I like the density so that I can tuck it easily behind my ears. But as I mentioned before, clearly this part right here, as far as the layering and how it graduates down the neck, I think is what makes it different from some of the other styles on the market. So listen, I hope uh, I hope this review has helped you. So thanks for staying tuned for this quick review of John Renault's Quinn. Stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.